Frequency Matters, the RF and Microwave Update Series. I'm Pat Hindle. I'm here with my co-host Gary LaRude. We have special guests today, Walt Strickler and Matt Diesner from Noisecom Wireless Telecom Group. Thanks for having us, guys. Yeah, it's been a busy uh, IMS 2019. We're here in Boston on the third day of the exhibition. How's it been for you guys? It's been outstanding. We see a lot of activity. I, I think the uh, the industry itself, the for TNM world, uh, is is doing really well. Uh, 5G is obviously driving a lot of things, but the radar world continues to to push uh, requirements. So it's been very good for us. My activity has been around the over-the-air testing in the 5G millimeter wave noise figure. So we've had a good activity in that, and it's been very interesting. And finally, getting traction, as we can see that it's going to move from the uh, research and development area, and you'd hear a lot of production capability coming out of that. So you guys have been involved in applying noise for low-cost measurement techniques. Uh, what is the newest in that area of application? One of the things that we've announced at the booth is the millimeter wave seems to be getting a lot of traction. Gary came on over and we talked about our new uh, millimeter wave device, 50 to 75 gigahertz. So that's been uh, getting the traction and we've had some good activity on that, especially when people are going to do the noise figure and over the air noise fig figure for the Y factor methodology. So we're getting some good activity there. And another area that we're actually applying noise for noise figure is in the over-the-air chamber applying two ENR values that we can use so the device under test actually gets to see two different values with a separation of the ENR and we can do that in the millimeter wave. So that's been getting a lot of traction and making headway on that. So Walt, one of the things that I've found interesting, of course, the world we live in is getting more and more complex with modulation schemes and so forth, and amplifier linearity is key in trying to preserve that in the actual system. And I think you guys have a pretty elegant approach to that. So talk a little bit about that. Well, yeah, well, thanks. So what we've seen is traditionally things like IP3 and third order intercept have been used as the measure of an amplifier linearity. And what we found is because of the demands now in the higher modulation schemes, that that's not sufficient anymore. Right. IP3 really, it's, it's two tones. And today's uh, LTE, 5G are thousands of subcarriers. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, you need one, a real world signal to put in it and not just two tones. So working with our, our sister division, Noisecom, we use the noise to simulate a no FDM signal. And then what we do instead of uh, third order intercept or even a noise power ratio is use crest factor. And you put your input signal in and you look at the crest factor of that and then you look at the output of the amplifier and as it goes into, it becomes nonlinear and goes into compression, you see the crest factor shrink. And uh, <clears throat> the nice thing about that is instead of using an, expect, uh, an expensive spectrum analyzer, which not only is expensive but can be error prone, there's a lot of things, right. you have to set resolution, bandwidth, reference level, you can use a simple peak power meter and now get uh, very good measurements that really are more real world um, based than a, a, a two-tone measurement in the past. Yeah, that's a really elegant solution, I think. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so we've, we've, we've gotten a lot of attention. A lot of the amplifier manufacturers are now starting to recognize it. We see it sh showing up in their, their technical papers and their technical reference guides. And so you guys have been involved in 5G too. You mentioned that. Can you tell us what you're doing in that area? One of the things that um, I have been focusing on is a lot of the over-the-air testing for 5G. Your magazine article in March, the cover issue that you did, uh, you had a lot of people contribute to that. And one of the things that I did find out and we had a discussion about was all the measurements that you're hearing about are all either single tone, average power. Our philosophy has been coming in from this production area that you need to use real world signals as Walt had mentioned. And one of the things that we are stressing, that we are seeing in this 5G arena, is that we're going to be pushing in a production environment testing real world signals. That's the noise, where we are doing press factor, peak to average, we're using OFDM-like signals with very wide bandwidths to stress the device under test. The other thing that, in complementary, is using the noise, uh, the power sensor, to measure these OFDM signals because it is really a key factor of measurement. And that's what the point we're trying to get across is that you're using real world measurements, signals, and then the measurements and the crest factor, and that correlates for the 5G. 
and we have a nice simple methodology to use this. It's proven technology, noise figure, calibrations of VN, uh, VNA spectrum analyzers. So now we're just taking it to the next level, making testing simple, affordable, and fast with ma uh, free matters with measurements that really matter. Hmm. Well, thanks guys for spending some time with us on the third day of IMS here in Boston and uh, hope to have a good closing of the show. Thanks very Thank much, you very guys. Much. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure.